Hello everybody, we are back to a series that we have kind of taken a large break from over the last year, and that is the No DLC playthrough. A lot of you have been requesting that this comes back, so here it is. We're back with the No DLC playthrough. Now something you must know before we get any further into this is that if you're on console, you do get the ATVs and the tents as part of your base game on PlayStation and Xbox, but for some reason on PC, they just don't do that. So, a while back when we first started the series, I put it up to a poll here on YouTube as to whether or not we should be allowed to use the tents and the ATVs, and the overwhelming majority of you that voted said yes. So that is the only, I guess, technical DLC that we use in this series, because if you're on console, it's not even DLC. It's just part of the main game. Now, if you remember the last time that we were hunting on here, if I'm not mistaken, we went for Blacktail Deer, because it looks like that is the most recent hunting pressure here. So we're going to continue doing that. We're going to check all the other areas that Blacktail can be and hope that we can find some more good Blacktail and uh, earn some money along the way and XP as well. Ooh, that is a lot of Blacktail deer. Wow. That is a massive group of them, actually. Well, this is going to be some good money. That is a lot of Blacktail deer at one location. That is incredible. Gosh, there's even more. <laughs> This is an absolutely loaded lake. I mean, we need to get at least two of these. I'd like to get at least two of them. Let's see. We'll zero to 300. Get lined up. Yeah, I think that's going to be two of them going down. Actually, three of them going down. So there is one of the blacktail deer. That guy's a 132.85 silver. So there wasn't any giants in that group, unfortunately. But we still managed to take down quite a bit of them. So it's going to be a, a bunch of good money, regardless of whether or not these were good blacktail deer. If I could find the rest of the tracks, I don't know where the rest of the blood is. Well, I found one of the other bucks, but I didn't find the third one. So who knows where that guy went? And who knows if I'll ever find him. There we go. Let's grab this outpost real quick just so that we can uh, put our tents on us. Because I do believe we are missing tents in our inventory currently, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we don't have any tents in there. So let's see. Do I have any tents right now or do I need to purchase some? Okay, so I do have two of them. I wonder why I took them out of there. Let's drop the shotgun and pop the tent back in. That way we can place this at some of the lakes that we run into. Well, that is a much nicer blacktail deer, and even that one's not too bad. And then I, I hear another over here to the left. I can't see it, though, so that's unfortunate. Oh, she's right there. Well, then, I guess she decided to hide from us. Let's go ahead and take down that level four, and then if we can, we'll get the three as well. Oh, we hit him. I mean, it wasn't good. But we did manage to hit him, and then the follow-up was in a good enough spot to where it actually is going to take him down semi-quick. So this is the nicer looking level 4, 151, 14. Honestly, I would love to get a rare buck with, like, this rack right here. I think this would be my dream rare blacktail if I could get one with this rack. Because it looks really nice. It's one of the more realistic racks for the blacktail deer. Uh, given... I still would change a few things on it. Like, as someone who has grown up around blacktail deer my entire life, I would honestly make these splits a little bit further down the rack just to give them a little more of a realistic look because uh, you don't really see too many blacktail that have just like these tiny little crab claws at the ends of the uh, beams. It's definitely not as common as the more traditional like splits kind of halfway up. I mean, they're a subspecies of mule deer. So they shouldn't look too different from the mule deer aside from being a little bit smaller. There's our little level three. Let's go ahead and grab that guy. You know, something that's interesting about these level threes with this rack right here is these antlers do have like black smudges on them. And if you look at the base, it gets a little bit darker. I mean, personally, I'd make the entire antler darker than what it is. Yeah, you know, every time I hunt black tail deer, I just end up critiquing their antlers because I'm so used to seeing black tail IRL living in Oregon and they just they don't quite look as good as the real life ones. They The antlers just don't quite cut it in Call of the Wild in terms of realism. They should be a little bit darker in color, some of them being even like a more like reddish brown. 
But just in general, they need to be a little bit darker. They're a bit too light right now. They kind of just look like they've been left out in the sun too long. That is a lot of black-tailed deer once again. We are finding some amazing zones today. That's really, really nice to see. Okay, so that right there is definitely the best one here. That's a really good looking level four. Let's see if we can sneak a shot in there when he puts his head up. I think that should be vitals. Yep, that's the vital organ hit we needed. You know, since that's a solo doe and she's about to run, let's just drop a shot into her real quick so we can get a little bit of extra cash along the way. Let's see, what's this level four going to score? That is a 145.35, not too bad. You know, playing the game without any DLC really reminds you that there's a lot of guns that we don't use too often anymore that are not that bad. Like the 270 is a decent rifle for deer sized animals. It's not gonna rival your 308 AR or anything like that, but it's a solid option still. It kills them decently quick and you usually don't have to do a lot of tracking. And we're officially at one of my favorite places to look for black tailed deer, the river. The river is always a fantastic place to go if you want to get black tailed deer, primarily this little segment right here. And then also some of these lakes over here and this lake up here is pretty, or uh, I think I think it's this lake, something like that. Those areas are usually really, really good. We're going to try and go through all of this section to try and get some trophy black tail. Here's a level three right here. That's going to be a solid shot. And then we now have four bucks over there. Man, there's just bucks everywhere. How far away is that? Got to be a good 350. No, 320. So almost 350. That is going to be two kill shots, though. There's the little level three buck, 130.23. This is the first one we took out single lung, so we ran a little bit farther than some of the others. Man, that guy's actually kind of wonky. Like this one antler on this side is pushed forward a little bit more. It's a weird looking deer. I mean, there's one more buck right there that we could shoot. I think we're going to go ahead and do it. We need as much money as we can possibly get so we can continue buying tents. So let's just knock that guy down real quick. Here's one of the two that we shot over here. That's the three. So I think this is going to be the smaller one. Or actually, no, 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 no. This is the larger one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 140. That's a level four. It's a wonky, weird level four as well. This rack is always one of the craziest looking ones to get. Man, wait a second. I didn't see all of these deer. How did I spook off all of those? I didn't even realize there was that many around here. That's crazy. Well, after we grab this buck right here, if I can figure out which direction he ran, we'll go ahead and reset the time because it is getting quite dark, which is going to make it really tough to do anything. And in fact, I don't even see this buck. I don't know where he ran off to. Oh, there we go. We finally found him. I mean, not that it matters too much. This is the smallest one of them all. But hey, it's always good to get as many of them as we can, especially right now when we need all the money. Ooh, that's a really good level four right there. That level four has a chance at being very high scoring. Okay, so we're about 200 meters away now. I think this should be close enough to where we can get a good shot on that guy. At least I hope so. And if possible, we'll try to get a nice follow up shot on one of the other ones as they're putting their head down to drink. There we go. We got two of them. I believe this is going to be our level four. This guy is really nice. Now, it doesn't have a chance at diamond. There is no splits on the back tine there. So it's not going to make diamond. But 169.34 is not bad at all. That is a solid buck right there. Definitely our best one of the day. Hopefully we can even top this. But if we don't, it is what it is. This is a solid deer. And there's the other one. A nice little 118. Just a small three. Another good level four right next to where we just took down those two. You know, we have not had too bad of a day hunting these black tailed deer. We've found a lot of nice level fours. Uh, we haven't found any rares or diamonds, but we have found a good amount of nice fours, which is more than I expected. Black tail have always been an unlucky species for me where I still don't have a level four rare. And even though I haven't managed to get that level four rare that I would like to get, I still do really enjoy hunting these things, and maybe one day we'll get that level four rare that I want so badly. Jeez, a lot more black tail deer. 
They're just all over Leighton Lakes. It's honestly kind of crazy how many of them we've been able to find and how many big clusters of them along this river. Like this river has been loaded with drink zones, which is kind of what I talked about earlier in the video. This river is just such a good spot to hunt blacktail deer. All right, well, let's try to get this guy real quick. And then we can also get that guy as well. Love to see it. I think that was probably the two best, or at least close to the two best. The one that we shot first was definitely the best buck in the group. And the second one wasn't too bad either. Let's see. This guy is a 153.58. Not too bad. And as for the other one, 131.35. So not nearly as nice, but still. Again, this wasn't uh, the worst we could have done out of the group of deer that was there. There is just black-tailed deer everywhere, man. They are just all over the place. And I think we're going to be shooting quite a few of them, so... Q montage. Ooh, oh, there we go. Level five, finally. Finally, we got something good for the blacktail deer. Holy crap, a level five blacktail deer. That is beautiful. There's a few other blacktail that we can't see right now, but we can definitely see that guy. We can definitely see him. Gosh, this guy's about 350 meters away if we check right here. 356. Do I attempt the long shot? I kind of am tempted to. Now, the risk here is we might end up hitting a tree if he's behind one. I don't think he is. So I think this should be a makeable shot. This is going to be crazy if we hit this. That's vitals. We did it. That's vitals. Oh my gosh. What a shot. What an insane shot we just hit with the 270. Well, there's our guy. And that looks like Big Rack. Oh my gosh, I think that's Big Rack. Yeah, that is really thick. I mean, that one might be a little bit thinner than this one, but this guy's pretty much guaranteed to be diamond. I don't think this guy has any chance of not making it. This is a massive blacktail deer. Could this be the 190 plus that we've been after? Probably not, but we can hope. 18607. Yeah, that's a giant. And it does look like the antlers might be slightly different from left to right. This one looks a little bit thinner than this one. So this is like a 50-50 rack. That's actually a very unique buck. That is awesome. That is really, really cool. I don't think I've ever got a 50-50 blacktail. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool right there. Let's go ahead and tax this guy. We don't want to spend too much money taxing animals if we don't have to because we're pretty early on in this account still. But this guy's only like 4,500 tax, so we'll go ahead and do that. What a beauty, man. What an absolute beauty. And we did it on the no DLC playthrough as well. Even better. For the first time in a very, very long time, we enter the Leighton Lakes Trophy Cabin. We don't really go in here too often, but in this case, we have to because this is the no DLC playthrough, so we don't have any of the other lodges. But one thing we do have is we finally have another plaque filled. This time with the blacktail deer. So we got our blacktail, we've got our whitetail, we've got the rabbit. I believe we have the coyote up here, if I'm not mistaken. I believe the coyote goes up here. Maybe? Where does the coyote go? There it is, there's our little coyote. We got this little plaque filled, and then we got this in multiplayer which is a diamond sandbar deer. Because in The Hunter Call of the Wild, you don't actually have to own a map in order to be able to play it in multiplayer. As long as somebody in that session has the map and owns it, then you're able to join in and play it for free. So we did get this guy in multiplayer. It's one of the cool things about Call of the Wild and the way they do their DLC. There's a lot of stuff that you can use as long as somebody in multiplayer owns it as well. And maps are like the big focal point of that, which is really nice. I'm glad they do that. 
makes it possible for someone with no DLC to still get the other animals. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this return to the no DLC playthrough and we got ourselves a really nice diamond blacktail out of it. So that is an awesome, awesome ending to the day. Thank you all so much for watching. Consider subscribing as well as clicking that like button down below and commenting, letting me know if you enjoyed this episode. Thank you all so much and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.